I believe this is the most expensive mailbag I have ever done on the channel. Okay, let's get right into it. First up, I needed a new SD card. This is really, really basic stuff, but what I needed was a, a much faster SD card because I'm going to be recording in 4K footage now. And that's going to lead into the next piece. The 4K footage is going to come from this beast. This is my new Mavic Air in a Flymore combo. This is last year's DJI uh, new Mavic, the much smaller Mavic Air. This is a pretty cool and capable little fold-up uh, quadcopter slash aka drone that I can now finally travel with. This is going to replace my Phantom 3 that I've been flying for some time and I don't use because I don't take it with me because it's too darn big. They say the best camera and best equipment is the one that you have with you. Well, this should allow me to do that. Very cool. Next up, an adapter. You're going to see this in an upcoming video. A dedicated video, cheapest chips one right out of China. I'm going to give it a try for some storage solutions, and that's going to be a common topic here in a minute. Also got myself a new backup drive. This is the name of the game after the big kerfuffle of my PC crashes of 2019. Well, backups are the name of the game. I'm not going to get caught again trying to uh, pull files from a damaged hard drive. I've never had a drive fail before until now. Well, now I have, so... This four terabyte backup plus came from Amazon, is well reviewed, high capacity, four terabytes should give me lots of room. This is gonna be an offsite backup, so I'll put some stuff on there and then I will put it in a safe place. More storage solutions. This from eBay. This is a, I think it was a four terabyte, four terabyte straight from eBay, used refurb. Uh, it was much cheaper. Full-size drives were quite expensive, and this is going to live in this. This external hard drive case and power supply for SATA drives, nice aluminum thing. I'm going to use this as a network attached storage. It's not a true NAS, it's not going to be RAID or anything, but it's going to allow me to quickly copy files off to both portable and network attached. Yeah, with I'll just use a batch file that does it automatically on every boot. It's really, really easy. I can show you guys how to do it, but it's not new technology. <laughs> and every time I boot the PC, everything will copy over to those. So I'll have on-site and off-site. Very cheap. Also in the name of uh, storage solutions, these are hard drive cases. And these allow you to store full-size hard drives and label them and put them away and archive them. This is my failed drive, my one gig Barracuda that just went bad, er, but I can still actually recover files off it, it's just not easy. But you can put the drives away and put them into cold storage. Cheap solution. Next up, mini keyboard. This is for my Raspberry Pi projects. This is just a USB small keyboard. Uh, it's a nice little rig. I like the button feel on it already. This will be really good. I'm going to use it for my uh, home theater PC, the uh, the RetroPie build, which also has Kodi installed. And the odd time I want an actual keyboard interface if I'm working in the in the actual back end of it. This I'll just store away and plug in when I need to. Otherwise, I'll use the multimedia remote. Next up eBay used, nothing to it, just a Game Boy game. Uh, you'll see some of these, this uh, this is heavily used. Ooh, I don't even want to touch that, it's dirty. But it's good old Super Mario Land. These, I don't remember who put me onto these. I had never even heard of them. This is an I squared C expander board. This allows you to use multiple devices with the same address on the bus. This will do the splitting between them. Very, very neat. Um, so with those, the cheap OLEDs and stuff, I think that's where I saw it used, was multiple OLEDs. Jeez, I can't even remember now. Very neat idea. If you have multiple devices with the same address, uh, you can just plug them in here. Very neat. Next up, another expensive one. This is a refurbished GoPro Hero 5 Session from eBay. What even comes with the the cling wrap back on it. 
Neat. This is a factory refurb from somewhere in the United States, a surplus place. You can't buy the sessions new anymore unless a store has old stock. Comes with the components you need. And this is going to fly on my quadcopters and give me much, much better video than the run cams. Full 4K. To protect... To protect the new GoPro on the quad... I got some tempered glass covers. These are stick on, those are covers. These are stick on glass covers that you put on the front of the GoPro. So most of the time when you smash into something, it's gonna smash your protective cover and not the GoPro itself. So they should work pretty good. Amazon's to the rescue. Some tools. This is a neat little precision screwdriver set that I found on eBay. Anodized aluminum, nice and heavy. It's got the swivel end that sits in your palm so you can run it with your fingers. And a various, a whole bunch of various bits, uh, mostly Torx. One more from Amazon. I needed another FPV camera for the Nano Talon build that I'm making. So I thought I'd give one of these a go. They don't have much reviews. This is a clone of many of the different manufacturers out there are doing this form factor. It's an interesting size. They're very, very small, very, very light, and not a hugely wide angle lens on it, but we'll give it a go. I think it'll actually work okay in the Nano Talon. Really, really light, like crazy light. So we'll give it a try, see how it works. This is coming along great. This is going to be a case for some hard drives for a video that you'll see soon enough. Doing a little bit of a GoPro time lapse on my 3D printed mount. It's working good. I really like this setup because now the camera actually follows the print. It makes it a lot easier to watch uh, because the subject isn't moving around in view, just the background. Pretty cool. This also arrived, and you might have already seen it on the mailbag, but I'm going to go out and give this a go tomorrow. This is my new DJI Mavic Air. Pretty cool. Happy with it. Gone through some instructions, and this is the Fly More package with a really nice and small bag. Way, way smaller than the, the Monster uh, Phantom 3 that I used to be rocking. Should be fun. I'm actually still working on this project. If you're into working in Fusion 360 or good at working with STL files, hit me up on Discord. I need someone to help me with the model, how to split these in an efficient way. This is the cast, the open source 3D printed cast that I developed uh, just using the Xbox Connect uh, camera um, scanner and super heavy with it. It's awesome. I just, I just need a good way to split them. Project upcoming.